Hello, and welcome to the Gamer's Closet. I'm your host, Douglas Weed, and today we're going to be talking about Mousy Mousy. Mousy Mousy is a game that was implemented in 1955. The version I have here is from 1963 from Spearway Games. Uh, the game itself is rated for two to seven players, runs for about 15 to 20 minutes of game time, and is rated for ages five and up. But let's dig into it a little further, shall we? Mousy Mousy was released in 1955 and is a highly reprinted game with many names. In 1963, Spirits Games released an alternate cover that had a caution label on it for children, which is a little ominous. The game has, like I said, been reprinted many, many times by many, many companies, including titles called Catch a Mouse, it's also known as Catch'em, Slam, Pounce, Jerk, Carla Cat, among many, many others. Since there are so many editions and variations, the game has been produced in English, German, as well as Dutch, among many other languages. This game does come with multiple pieces. Depending on the edition you have, it ranges anywhere from 6 to 8 mice, a dice, several chips and or, again, depending on edition, cheese tokens, and a capture cup or cone or plunger, again, depending on what edition you have. To set up this game, the oldest player starts as the catcher and takes the cup and die. The other players are mouse owners at the beginning. Each of them receives a mouse. Catcher and mouse owners are provided with nine counters each. The round mat is placed in the center of the table. Each owner puts their mouse on the mat near the center, nose is almost touching, and holds the end of the tail firmly. Decide how long the game should run, say 10 or 15 minutes. Now the fun begins. The catcher throws the die from the cup. If they throw anything but red or blue, they then quickly throw again. When red or blue is thrown, the mouse owners try to pull their mice away with lightning speed before the catcher covers them either wholly or partly with their cup. The cup must land at least partly on the mat. Now penalties are paid, as I will go over in a moment. When this is done, the catcher passes the cup and die to their neighbor on the left who hands them a mouse in exchange. The owners put their mice back on the mat, hold the tails firmly, and the new catcher acts as how I just described. So the game goes on. There is a new catcher every time red or blue has been thrown. Remember, the faster you play, the greater the fun and excitement. The unlucky player who runs out of counters is out of the game. If you don't have the multicolored dice with your game, you can use two dice, which newer editions of this game allow for the numbers 11, 7 to be rolled, or doubles to do the same job. The player with the largest number of counters when the agreed upon time is up is the winner. Penalties are paid in two ways. The mouse owner pays a penalty, which is one counter to the catcher, each time their mouse is caught, or if they withdraw their mouse when neither a red or blue have been thrown, or if you're using the other dice, if doubles or 11 or 7 haven't been thrown. The catcher pays a one counter penalty to each other mouse that escapes, and also to all mouse owners should they bring the cup down when neither red or blue have been thrown or again doubles or the 11 or 7 dice on the newer editions. If they bring the cup down partly to mislead the owners, they incur no penalty. Well, this has been an overview of Mousy Mousy. Mousy Mousy is one of those long-standing party games that keeps being reprinted by multiple companies again and again and again. And they all play exactly the same. The older versions were up to seven players. The newer versions go up to eight players. Uh, the game itself goes online anywhere from about 10 to 20 bucks, so it's relatively easy to find depending on what implement you find. Uh, like I said, every version plays exactly the same as the other version. Um, the game itself is very basic, very easy to pick up, very easy to learn. It's great for large groups and party games, um, conventions, things of that nature. This is always a pretty easy uh, win whenever you're uh, pulling out a game. Uh, it's great for a game night. Uh, like I said, the rules are not very extensive on this, and it's very uh, dexterity-based. So there's not a lot of strategy to this, but there's a lot of luck. So if you want to have a good time with friends, this is a really good game to go with. If you want something a little more complex, um, I would find something else. 
but like I said, this is a very good game. Um, components are well built, well constructed. Uh, the pieces are generally in nice shape, especially depending on what version you have. They could either be little red chips like the version I have here, or they come with cheese tokens. So theming on this game is uh, always um, part of the immersion and entertaining value with it. So um, if you haven't picked up Mousy Mousy before, I'd recommend taking a look at it. Like I said, it's really good fun for kids. Uh, it's really easy to pick up, really easy to learn. Uh, it's very, very kid friendly. So if you want to start your kids on playing a game, this is a good option for you. Uh, so like I said, if you haven't played Mousy Mousy before or any one of the other re-implementations of this game, I would recommend picking up this game. Well, that's it from us here at the Gamer's Closet. We'd like to thank you for checking our video on Mousy Mousy from Spearway Games. If there's a game in the future you'd like us to review or go over, please put it in the comments below. Please hit subscribe so that we can be the first to check out our future content. And as always, please, have a great gaming day.